Hey there, welcome. I'm Frank Korb, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing out a grid. We're going to do this quick and to the point because at some point in your career you might have to draw another grid. For our intents and purposes, we're going to be using this for the values. So welcome to drawing a grid. It's not really even just a grid, we're gonna be dealing with a scale. And the first thing I want you to notice is your ruler. This particular ruler, zero, starts here. It doesn't start at the end, it starts here at the, uh, well, I'll find about an eighth of an inch in. My grid, my scale, is gonna be five squares that are equally spaced. My paper is 12 inches long, my scale is going to be 10 inches. I'm going to take an inch off the beginning and an inch off the end and have two inches for the width of each of my squares. So put one mark at one inch, a mark at three inches, a mark at five inches, a mark at seven inches, a mark at nine inches, and my mark at 11 inches. So I've got one inch here, one inch here, and then two inches in all the other spaces. Then what I'll do is slide my ruler down. I'm gonna make sure it's zeroed up at the bottom. Mark at one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11. I look straight down on it so that I'm making sure that everything is perfect. Now what I'll do, I'm gonna very lightly draw my line in. Now, I know that I'm gonna erase a lot of these, and I know most everything's gonna happen in the middle, so I might not have to draw it all the way. If I were drawing a grid maybe for drawing off a portrait or I was doing a ratio drawing, ratios, and I wanted it to cover the whole of the paper, I would draw from the top of the piece of paper all the way down to the bottom of the piece of paper. But because this is something a little different, I'm gonna go this route. Now what I'm gonna do is, this is going to be again, two inches. I'm gonna measure up two inches this time because it's nine inches. I'm gonna have two rows. And I'm gonna have one inch between them. It's a little bit of mental math, but for our sake, I'm gonna put a mark at two inches, four inches, five inches, seven inches. So I've got two inches, two inches, one inch between, and two inches on both ends. Slide my ruler down, two inches, four inches, five inches, seven inches, and the rest of this top is empty. And then, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw my lines across, but I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna end here because I know I'm not gonna use the ends of the piece of paper for anything. Draw that in, put my lines in here. Draw light, we're using an HB pencil, something like this, a mechanical pencil works great. HB is a light pencil. If I had an H pencil, I'd probably use that, or a high letter H pencil and use that because I don't need my lines to be dark. And then um, that works great. I'm gonna go through here and erase all of the lines I don't want. Through all of my testings, I've got a lot of these pieces of paper going. For what we're gonna be doing, with this, we're going to use three grids that are five inches. And then my fourth grid, my fourth value scale, is going to have 10 spaces to it. And so instead of getting a longer piece of paper, I'm just going to have skinnier uh, squares. So they're going to be rectangles in that case. And my skinnier ones are going to be one inch, one inch wide. And oh, I know where it's at. Here we go. So in this case, 
same measurements, except this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I just drew them in there. So questions you've got, um, shoot me an email. You can check this out online again. Please pause. We're gonna need four of these for our in-class assignment, or if you're doing a grid, you can just pause if you want. Thanks for watching.